Ye watching the close angle. They are going to be coming out from the tight angle, but this may catch him off guard as he gets stunned and picked up. First blood goes the way of Cloud9 with 25 seconds to play with. They need to explode out onto the site with no more losses of life. Anbox could put themselves into an interesting position, but Vice has got the flank frag. And with it, the spike will be planted. Relic sprays through with the frenzy for two frags in quick succession, leaving just Seb to pick up the pieces. Yeah, I think this is about all she wrote. Seb able to take Mitch down shore, but in this one versus five, it should be a bridge too far. The aftershock oh, pinning him into this corner. You see Leaf already in position at heaven to cut him off. And that was a brilliant pistol round from Cloud9. It's kind of a to try and wiggle their way up. Heaven, 25 seconds to play with. The spike starting to make a move towards the site. And Vice has got a bit of success. That Spectre now been traded up to the Phantom. Not anticipating the close angle though. And Poach will punish him. Leaf comes straight back in. But time is dwindling away ever so fast. And Android nullifies two plays. And with their loss of life, that should be the round following. Sunny tries to draw a few players out, get a bit of utility under wraps, but the paint shells. On the other way, the site would have fallen, it would have been sieged already. But Android just needs to stay alive. He knows the cavalry is charging in. Fault line comes out, stuns him. Can stay in position though. Showstopper comes out and retaliation pops it into the entrance. And down goes the spike. And with the spike, the round surely follows. Not a single casualty for Anbox. Although they may get a drop courtesy of Leaf with the Ghost is it's making this a little bit more costly with the secondary frag coming in, looking to tap into a third, but he gets silence suppressed. How many kills, if any, can Poach muster up? Killjoy puts down her ult and Relics has dispatched Poach. That's a really big pick. Also with the Killjoy ult put in position, looking to detain any oncoming aggression that now comes out from Anbox. They have to stay in position and in doing so that gives up the site. Spike should be going down momentarily. They're taking their sweet time though, Cloud9, making sure these angles have been covered off. Android now showing his hand. He keeps a couple more players at bay. There's the rolling thunder you highlighted before. And they want to get behind this. Mitch thought of going aggressively, goes in, takes off the head of Android. And even though they trail by a player, they're in decent post-plant positions. But Seb straight away puts a bullet between the eyes of Mitch. And now he will be looking for a little bit more. Not too much time at the spike has dwindled away either. There is an opportunity for Ambox to get this done. Rolling Thunder now out onto the defenders, lands in both of their faces. They are stunned. They are absolutely heaving life right about now. And they've been finished off and put out of their misery. Ambox successfully mitigate all of the oncoming traffic. It's fast paced Valorant events. They thrive in the chaos. They love it. And that's what you saw in that round for sure. As Poach setting up a little bit of a different defense here for Ambox, putting that one way up on the B lobby. A different look, but it's the same outcome. Although Relics has now put that stinger to use, may get picked off on the approach. Tries to retreat actually, and shot in the back. There will be no retreat today. And actually, Android goes in How? for another one. How's he still alive? He's on no HP at all. I have no idea. I guess low firepower is obviously a key factor in that. They didn't really have the punch to swing at him despite the fact they definitely Line comes out does not connect onto boy different position again they typically played in the rafters this time they give it up and it's a beautiful paranoia and seb jumps on top of it cloud nine just can't catch a break yeah it has been an absolute nightmare for them oh my the kill the one way and poach finds both oh my goodness i mean they've heard the ult come out from Cloud9 in the hands of Jet, and now it's going to be down to Poach, who sprays perfectly through the toxic wall, and well, everything's just fell oh, no! Everything again has gone horribly wrong. The Blade Storm misses, and although a headshot connects with a frenzy, it won't be good enough. The showstopper in the face of Mitch, shutting down the round, but it's. And I feel like Anbox reads that. Yeah, it's a fair point. I mean, we, we talked before about how how long have they had reasonably to get a good sort of strap book down. They're, you know, Leaf has just basically joined. There's a lot of uncertainty about this team. And all lockdown has came into play. So keep that thought for a couple more moments because this could be going the way of Cloud9 yet. 
It looks like they're going to start and end the half strong, but no. suddenly Android springs back into action, and there's Yay! Against a team of Unbox's caliber, like, you've got to make sure you make the most of each and every single chance that you are afforded, because they will be few and far between. Rolling Thunder out towards Rafters. Paint Shell there straight afterwards, but Mitch has got the first. He darts into position, getting himself a second, and Android can only muster up the one frag from the B site. That leaves it down to Cloud9 in familiar territory, another 2v4, and surely this time they can make it stick. And they can oh, yeah. at least end the half with three rounds. I mean, they had the showstopper still available on relics. I mean, there should be no way they get this one up. They had the turret watch and be heaven for them. Yeah, this 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 should be it. Dunzo. Also giving away position one player up in the rafters, which will be joined by both. Toxic screen has been implemented trying to lock down b main showstop has been put up and relics compromised now the rotations come in and they're coming in from each and every angle leaf round the back goes in for the spray and takes down android headshot delivered first class beautiful flash comes out they do capitalize on top of it but only two plays remain for Anbox and 13 seconds of which to utilize it and although seb has put up some heroics and some valiant plays with this frenzy he did not expect vice to show his hand from the back of the plant and their footprint of word because Absolutely. we said very similar when the roles were reversed in the first half and this is where cloud nine lost one too many weapons good crossfire established although the toxic screen puts up a bit of an awkward position they're locking it down with ease only one loss of life and leaf with the 4k spray from the specter could not ask to and they have the five on four and they had the from the shadows that they need to quickly rotate their omen so they have a lot working for them but ambox gonna try to explode on the site anyway with these flashes and try to flex their individual lane that flashpoint needs to be sharp to pierce through this defense but leaf is saying no his second 4k of the half a flawless clean sweep from cloud We're talking about how close and personal don't allow cloud nine any chance to breathe the flashes are good on both sides but it will favor and box who look to dominantly take control over rafters one more time they've bypassed mail already and now we're starting to see Poach's utility really come to the forefront, but Leaf's One aim on remain. point, as is the operator of Mitch, and Relics has also dipped him for a frag. So it seems like it'll be a wall and done, unless Poach could be side. Only one defender is here, and Mitch, as he so often has, putting that operator to devastatingly good effect. Leaf gets spun on instantly from Poach, and now the site has been cracked wide open. Relics joined down onto Leaf, just in death, and although toxins are low, the Viper's Pit has been put into position, Spike gets successfully planted down, plenty of utility being tossed in, fault lines, flashpoints, everything that Cloud9 could possibly muster, but they still fall by behind by the player, Rolling Thunder tossed out now, although Coach goes back in for more, Bladestorm has now been dulled down for these players. Are occupying the B side of the map for Cloud9. What? And they're gonna get found by Poach, who's just snuck his way in. Android elsewhere goes in for more. Leaf's gonna get one, but it's gonna be a post plant. Man, that was brilliant. I'll try to recap it later because a lot happened right there, but there still is some hope for Cloud9 to retake this three versus four. The problem is they still have a neural theft on Ambox's side, so one kill will get them the location of every Cloud9 member, though I'm sure they'd like to roll it over to the next round if possible. But here comes the attempt from Cloud9. All about securing this round first, I'm sure. They are already a player to the good. Flashpoint's tossed in. Here comes the aftershock as well. Sonny goes in for one, sprays in for a second. This retake has been flawless, has been sensational. Boy's still alive, tossing out everything he possibly can muster, but there's Leaf and the D. More players behind it, though. Only Raze on the other side of the map, who's starting to occupy through middle. Relics up on the heaven, gets checked. Good utility tossed in for good measure with a flashpoint, but Mitch still alive. Cloud burst to his left, the force allows him to force his attention towards the right. I thought he landed that shot. Maybe he did too, but it will be another post plant as the spike goes down successfully with 20 seconds. Three on three. But Leaf is already up close, and we know this man has some outrageous aim. Fault line goes in, he's looking for that second player. He just walks straight onto the site. No one was watching it. And Cloud9 have brought it back to all. Box may be down, they're not out just yet. In comes Viper one more time. Mitch, a different angle, the same result. The pick. And then he just pieces out of there. Yay, instantly dispatch, and that's breached. That's one of those main initiators that goes with him.
Yeah, that's tough to not have those flashes and fault lines to clear out angles and give his teammates a little bit of more breathing room as they try to take sides. They will cage the cross, get some Rance control, but Sunny spamming the Viper wall finds one. Poach able to trade, but there's still a man down. And that's the Neural Theft gone, Vince. That is one huge alt they could be using off the table. Now it's all in the Viper's pit in the post play if they can actually take the side itself. And that's a big ask in its own right. Massive turnaround if they could pull this off. We've seen both teams clutch out from being behind significantly. 30 seconds left. left. Anbox starting to make moves onto the A side. All of the utility for Killjoy is coming to the forefront. It's looking like the beginning of the end, but Android is giving them a little bit more hope. Vice, the showstopper, trying to lock down the long angle, but Vice is still on the site. The spike is gone with him and a lockdown behind it. Surely that's all she wrote. Surely there's no way back into this round for Boy and he gets sprayed out from Vice. The comeback is complete. Oh my goodness, Fred. Being taken control over by Anbox. And Poach has also droned out Treeside, and now they are threatening control of that simultaneously with controlling middle. So they have a lot of map control right now. The door is shut, so they can't split site quite away with their market. And that's a great engagement from Relux into B Lobby to deny that into the split. Able to get away and drop the boom bot all at the same time. Brilliant maneuvers there from Relics to try to slow this B split down. Despite giving up so much map control early, they are recovering fine. Leaf trades one for one in the middle, keeping his team ahead of man. In comes Sonny, though. Classic will be taken away as Ye comes in for two. Puts it back in favor, perhaps, of Anbox. It's a 2v2. HP low. Two of these players, a real coin flip. Positionally, though, Anbox do have opportunities to make something special happen. And although Seb's gone down, this is all a ruse because the spike has been planted on A, and now Ye has a chance to bypass the issue and fall back into a better post-plant position. Yeah. It's now taking the initiative, though, Dust. He's moving in. But you have to feel like this is Ye's round to lose. Yeah, that is a fair assessment here as Relax is trying to maneuver in. Shuts the door behind him, trying to limit the angles he has to worry about, and just slides out like butter onto Ye for the headshot there. That will be the defuse for Cloud9. It's been dispatched. Does force out the boom bot. Allows Relics a bit of an opportunity to pull the plug. Paint Star gets tossed in, but wasn't expecting Android to be up close and the Spectre sings for two. And now the boy spins around, Sonny had a chance. It was a glimmer, and now it has been put against Cloud9 after clutching it out. It's a clean sweep. Don't have to worry about being flanked just yet. Joke's over. You're dead. Oh no. All that aggression now comes to the forefront. Plank run it back, has been put into position. Relic's up close, gets two kills with the Phantom. Looking for third, but Android shuts him down. That loss of life, though, has been worthwhile because the site is now under control of Anbox. And that post plant comes into effect. Seb on the flank, gets one, Ooh. softens Vice up, and that target gets... Arcoas have been put into place. They do have a frenzy up close. This is typically where the gun will shine. And Leaf is playing that bait position. Actually gets one, and Mitch gets in for a second. The perfect bait and switch. Bladestorm's now been put into position. How's your aim, Mitch? Can he push through that cloud burst and put more damage down? He gets aggressive, but he also gets punished. And Anbox just about mitigate all of those potential dangers, all of those traps as Relic pops his ultimate, gets one, but trade it out instantly. Relief to peer through. So this is all fine for the most part. It's least going to come all the way in, catches Phoenix with his pants down, trying to throw a flash into the site. And this is a big advantage now for Cloud9. He had a bit of a disjointed round as well from Anbox because the bomb, the spike is still dropped back towards the spawn. Mm -hmm. So someone needs to go up and pick that one. There's two players in B main, which are about to get aggressive, coming up against Killjoy in the hands of Vice. And he's now been cypher caged out of position. Right. Again, they don't have the spike though, Dust. They can't get the, the bomb down anytime soon. They're going to get it in now through B lobby though. So the, the thing is though, Klana has a massive main advantage for the retake and they have the lockdown. So retake is going to be really powerful here. There is a Hunter's Fury in play for Anbox to cover the spike and it's not even going to make it there. Leaf able to come in through middle, catch them through the B link. Mitch shuts down, boy. It's all on Seb with no time and really no hope if we're honest about it. Trying to tuck tail and turn to the corner. But he will face his fate here shortly. He does bring one with him, but that's about it. Eat mid control. He's way in there, Vince. 
Oh, this is a great flank play, and that may just sell it a little bit more, but Leaf doesn't care. He was on a tear in that first map, but he's not so showing any signs of slowing down. 27 kills, and now he's just popping into position. Two heads claimed, it could be more, and it's not quite going to get done. As Poach does deal with him, but he's softened up more than enough for Vice to come in and clean up the rest. It's looking good for Cloud9 to pick up a third. He's going to take something miraculous from these remaining two players. And Seb goes in first, picks up the first frag. Minimal damage inflicted on the approach. Big oh, no. headshot in, and this 2v4 is quickly crumbling. They had so much faith in that flash to peek off of, and it backfired. And now the Mineral Death will confirm Mitch's location. There's no mystery element now for Ambox. Run it back has been popped, and that forces Mitch out of position. To try and wrap back around again. The spike still yet to go down. Finally will be get and put into position. Door will give away Mitch's position. Now they know that he also has a Vandal on top of everything else. Only five bullets left in the magazine. May very well need to replenish those bullets. Put them down range. Spit them with a bit of venom. He's going in now. No idea as to where the two remaining Ironbox players reside. Only four bullets in the magazine, and he's being tanked down. They know exactly where he is. He's got enough time to make this work, but he has to make it stick right here, right now. And down he goes to Android. A 2v4 clutch comes out. There's their curveball from Android tossed in for good measure. Now they're going to start to pull the trigger. They're going to get up close. Vice with the spray getting one. Traded back instantly from the back of the site. Relics has pounced into effect. And although Cloud9 have the player advantage, some ults now being posted up. Oh. Rolling Thunder tossed in for good measure. And with 50 seconds left, Poach is in all sorts of oh, trouble. Man. There's another fault line. Blade Storm's also been tossed in. Oh, the, the thing is, all I've done was used to clear out tree, not sight. So they still have to just work on the two-on-two -two purely off aim. They do have health advantage, though. But oh, no. Poach finds one. It's down to the 1v1. Sunny will finish. I thought they might. Good. The follow-up damage isn't there, though. We're in it back's now been deployed. Curve balls in. Not quite able to capitalize onto Sunny, who was falling back into position. And it's a big pick from Android just before the run it back. Runs out of time. And he's good to go again. Boy follows up the initial aggression. And the entry's on point. Before Relix is shut down by Android, who's picked up a second and a third, and could be going in for one more if Mitch is not careful. Here comes the ult from Sola, but not really required. Do worse than this. It was 9-3 they managed to rummage together. That was on their defense side, though, getting aggressive. And it's going to be going the way of Anbox, convincingly so. Lots of utility was put down towards main. They had to run on top of it. Oh, my. Satchel charge allows a bit of safe passage, but Leaf can only muster up the one kill. And now Relics is going to have to get up close with his classic big pick from Mitch. Keeps them in this round just about. But they don't have control that's of the, the problem. spike any longer. Yep, that's the big uh-oh moment of the round is not having that. Losing that exchange at B-Lobby cost them so dearly. They're trying to recover, but they just can't seem to do it. As Ye and Seb they see the flash attempt from Cloud9 through. They will get the space, but they aren't finding the entries, Vince. Not yet. And in fact, it seems like they never will. Oh, my. They've been absolutely run through the blender. And while also pressuring Tree. Yeah, he was spoiled for choice. Ended up shooting right down the middle of them. And as the spray comes in for Poach. And these kind of positions... So deadly, so detrimental, but Leaf and Relics are pulling this out of the fire. They continue to put bullets down range, taking headshots left. Lobby and try to approach the site with that. Indeed, they do. Boombot out as well, trying to gain some space. Hunter's Fury comes in, though, and the Op of Ye is cutting them off at the pass of this main archway. They haven't even got to take the site. Ye just keeps teeing off the lockdown. has been riddled useless. Lockdown, zero detainees, and it didn't even matter if it did. Because as you say, Ye has single-handedly thwarted all of this aggression, and now they need a hero. Now they need a bastion of hope. 
to try and pivot behind. Leaf is getting down. We know his aim is more than good enough to dig them out of this deep ditch, but the time itself is working against them. They're isolated. There's Tegra. At least bring Relics down with him and force him to spend the alt in the process. Anbox still set a man ahead. Revice though, able to get deep mid control here, threatens the A split as they do have their other players sitting in A lobby waiting to strike. Mitch has the blade storm and the dash and smokes to really close distance inside itself. And boy spots him though on the edge, able to put down a smoke and maybe even paranoid to slow it down. But Mitch still jumps in and he's caught. And Box continue to rip ahead towards that 12 round mark. Vice gets the drop onto Boy, can trade up the Guardian to the Vandal. Host plant comes into effect, but it's all down to this man of vice who spray as he may. Indeed he has. Ye does have the angle held, though he's got his teammate covering the main so he can focus in on market. Android gets his kill on Cat. Ye pops off as well. This might be the beginning of the end for Cloud9. Rolling Thunder rolls on by. Seb is undeterred. He's hiding in the cage. Now he pops out and sprays down two out of a jack of all trades, would you, would you say? Yeah. It's, it's safe to say, but a master of none, maybe, perhaps. She can heal, she can flash, and she has kind of like a drone dog thingy. So, yeah, she's kind of a hodgepodge, but still do a lot. But, man, that's a quick exchange of frags. It is. As the fight goes down on A successfully, boy caught in the back and cloud nine. Off to the races. 1v3 post plant leaving Ye in an awkward position. He's been spotted. Classic has failed him for the time being. Now two separate angles he has to be cognizant of. And to make matters worse, the recon bolt's gone in. Know exactly where he is. He's low and gets finished off through the dock. Boombot out to try and deal with the oncoming threats. Give away as many positions as possible. They're all clumped together. Android in with the first. The Vandal rips through the head of Relics. Partially through the wall. And now they can be bolstered up. Mitch is the only player that's came back. Big headshot from Android, who sprays him for two. Looking for a third, comes out second best, but there's... Bladestorm's already been popped up. A guiding light gets them into the first pick, and that Bladestorm has been dulled down significantly. Poach takes him out of the equation. And in the dark cover, they'll look to try and find a bit of reprieve, but instead it's Android that comes back in. Relics tries to even the odds, but Cloud9 still find themselves a player behind. Relics oh. tries desperately to make sure that equality is attained, and instead he pushes his team further back. Yeah, that was a nice little set piece from Ambox on the mid-aggression. A deep smoke, they put the poison behind it, they closed distance, and they absolutely eradicated the blade storm. Just got no value out of it on the Cloud9 side. Sunny trying to clear out some angles here with the Hound. And here's the thing, I know what it's actually called. Damage being inflicted to Sonny, who's close to death, being tagged left and right. Vice is going for the spike plant in amongst all the frenzy, and now Sonny's gone down. It's a 3v3 post plan. Actually, no, it's not. Vice has been dealt with through the wall. That's the spike that falls down. One of the remaining oh, two no. players has to go back in, and they're getting tagged up again. They just can't catch a break. Oh, and he gets away. I thought he was going to die, but Ye able to escape and pops left. the Blade Storm. So now he has the close quarters potential. They have stalled this side out for so long. Android catching Sunny and Spawn also massive. Allows him to rotate over and have the three on two man advantage for this. And I don't know what C9 does from here. Gonna bite the bullet and just go for the plant, I assume. Hope for the best. They may very well get away with this. They have. The spike gets planted down, but Mitch instantly loses his life afterwards. Ye is low. Relic's full HP. Bypassing the situation to perfection, but he gets caught by Seb in the back. And that'll be the end. Fluent is the key word I think we used earlier. Oh, speaking of fluidity... Ye has kept himself moving across the map these last two. So many opening picks that have been successful the way of Anbox. Yep. That's a pivot off, but Seb now making moves through middle. Wow. Could be trying to wrap around the back of Cloud9. Yep. Could be a big problem as he pushes through two. The problem is there's, it's hard to fall back off of two bunch you commit. But uh, Ye is just getting these picks at middle, further allowing his teammate to push through. See, the heal is popped there to try to cure some of the teammates of Cloud9 from Sunny's perspective, but they're still down a three on five. Time is starting to run low. Pocho has a strong angle here at green. Oh, it's beautiful cross air placement. And although Angle Ye is holding with the operator and he spotted the barrel, he knows what he's up against and he's going to land the shot. No problem. Love that he didn't snatch at the first opportunity, but he waited for the guaranteed frag. That's huge. Shows. 
calm oh, under duress. Leaf up close onto Seb. Neural theft has been implemented, but not in time to save Vice's life. Poach goes in for the freebie and box looking like left. another pretty straightforward round barring a miracle play from relics mm. and first gonna be forthcoming no it just hurts to pop the mural death and just not be able to do much with it there poach plays smart around yellow to avoid in place and there's three players already ready to defend here comes a blade storm they popped the utility they want to make sure they end this half in winning ways up onto the rafters they're looking to make a move dark cover affords the luxury of a post plant to come into fruition one of the first times that we've seen cloud nine brute force their way in at the cost of so many ultimates hunter's fury now also being tossed in lockdown gets destroyed so killjoy will have no joy when it comes to retaking the site although anbox still have their player advantage the blade storm still not been dealt with just yet. Ye is looking to try and get up close and personal. Mitch trading up alongside Android. They're keeping that player advantage. The showstopper comes in, doesn't outright finish off the frag, and they've gone in for the straight up spray. It's all over. Unbox got the diffuse. Scary for Cloud9 to trounce through that. Oh boy. Speaking of boy. <laughs> and speaking of scary, you don't want to come across that aim. Roach hiding in the Viper's pit. He's coiled and he's pounced. Two kills go his way. Seems like Anbox will pick up from where they left off. It's more frags. Mitch is spinning and pivoting in for two, <laughs> but eventually he goes down. There will be no healing required because he is now slumped on the floor. Long range incursion. Seb with the frenzy taking down Vice and maintaining advantages left and right. And then five person left on. The site for Ambox? I mean, is there even a way that Cloud9 can get this done feasibly? I would imagine the answer to that is a big fat no, but Mitch gets the kill. He's on it, but now all of a sudden the utility comes pouring in and that. But still a minute advantage, but they have a close angle here. The off angle from Mitch could prove to be devastating. Only good for one, though, and that may not be enough as Sunny can blindside. Indeed, he picks the right timing, finds two. A great move from Sunny on the Stinger. Guiding Light as well, keeps them at bay, and Cloud9 just about holding on for dear life. Less weaponry, but they're making each and every bullet count. Relics now from the side will strike again. Poach gets two. This may not be done just yet, but only 29 HP. And no idea where... Li and so Sight will probably be taken for free now because of this. As is usually the pattern, and Ye finds an entry on top of it as Mitch tries to fall back. That's devastating. By plants and box in prime position. Guiding lights getting tossed out. Cypher Cage as well gives brief sanctuary. Cloud9 have got to string together some huge frags if they want to get back oh. into this. Big Nano Swarm from Seb that's going to land on the spike. Vice and Leaf though getting frags, but Seb keeps slowing them down, but now he's kind of alone. Does have some help though from his jet. Another Nano Swarm slows down the spike defuse again for Ye to get in position. In comes Ye, he's looking, anticipating the play, Leaf at range, pops off the head, and now Ye up close, there's two! The attackers here at Long B. Yikes. Ooh, that's rough. The pipe yeah. has not been favorable <gasps> given to Cloud9. And Poach is moving past it, and it's gonna go from bad to worse. Showstop has also been picked up. Android getting super aggressive, getting so much ground for trouble, and also from downtown at range takes out Leaf. Doubling up onto Sunny, and it feels like Cloud9 is circling the drain. Yeah, it does feel that way, doesn't it? Ambox had everything go their way. They got the pick and twos. They had Poach sneak in at green and get undetected with his wall. You had the pick on A thanks to the showstopper push. The Vice knows this is a distinct possibility. 23 seconds left. Now the Viper's pit has been sprung. Vice onto Boy. Hunter's Fury going to try and deny some lies, try and deny some valuable time on that spike plant. And finally, Seb comes back, making the most of that onto Leaf. It's a three on three. Trailblades are straight through. Can't deny the spike plant but they know exactly where it's coming up One coach though right still right. hiding in the viper's pit will spring into action and coils in and now cloud nine only have vice again against the world two players are low and an operator by his side that recon vault will only give him